Hi everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Casio FX CG50 to test chi square for any question for the independence. So before I go for the calculator, I'm going to just show you some notes. If you want to skip it, good, so you can skip and go to the question directly. So the first thing you need to know is that chi square test is to be performed when you have two categories and you want to compare that one variable or one category is dependent on the other or not most of the time you will be given a table so some key concepts definitely you have two categorical two categorical data points then you have to come up with the null and alternate hypothesis but remember the null hypothesis has to state that the two variables are independent and alternate you can say those two variables are dependent uh, this is very important the observed frequencies this is coming from the given table or the given data expected frequencies we have to calculate using this formula row total times column total divided by the grand total and then how to conclude the test so these are some of the key points which you have to keep in mind degrees of freedom significance level this is always given in the question 5% or 10% because depending on significance and the probability value we will be able to reject or accept the hypothesis so I'm going to show you some instructions now for Casio CG50 so let's go for the first one you have to use run matrix because we need to store the data into a table which is a matrix in our Casio and then once it is stored then we will go to menu and statistics we'll click on f3 which is chi square and then f2 which is called two-way table and that's it we will have our results ready and those results will be chi squared p and df three values you need to record these and then compare to conclude for that test so now i'm going to solve one question for you so here is the question that sammy sorts 300 peppers into size of small medium and large some peppers are red and green or yellow so now we got two variables already here size and color right and uh, Sammy wants to test at 5% significance level whether the size and the color are independent or not. So if our results probability is more than 5%, so we are going to accept this. Otherwise, we are going to say they are dependent. They are not independent. There is another parameter which is uh, will help us to determine whether we should accept or reject, which is the critical value. So the critical value is 9.49 given. And this is the table of the value, which we call as observed frequencies. So that's how you have to get start from this table now. So what you can do now, open your GDC, turn it on and go to run matrix. That is your first step because you need to store this table in the matrix so clicking on run matrix and then you will see this option delete mat and vct and then math the one with mat matrix is the right option for us f3 here you will see matrix a b c d if there are already some numbers existing please delete them here right and then once it is clear you can click on matrix a so it is going to ask you dimensions m and n m is number of rows so if you see this is one one two and then three rows right and then three columns one two and then three columns so we have three by three matrix so i'm going to use three and three here so once you click enter you will have a template which is in the form of a table like the one we have in the question so in the first row you have to enter uh, red colored 
with different sizes small medium and large so pause this video and repeat this step with me okay so once it is done just a note here sometimes in the question you will be provided the total of rows and columns please do not enter total values here you just need to enter the raw data which we have it in this form once it is done uh, we are ready to test now so in order to test as i was showing you the instructions earlier so you can see some instructions that you need to go to run matrix we did this step already now we are on this step step two press menu and go to stat so go to menu yeah just to i want to make sure that my matrix was saved so you can go back to run matrix and click exit so that we can see it again yeah so it is saved so click exit and then go to menu so menu and then stat so the stat is the second option click uh, you will see some lists there but uh, you have nothing to do here so just skip this go direct to the test so if you go to the testing and you will find out here test yeah so this is the test now so go to f3 which is chi chi click on it and two way you can you see f2 two way so you have to go to two way and finally you will see their observed matrix a expected matrix b the a matrix which you have actually entered so once it is done come down and click on execute and here you go you have all three values chi squared p and df so once you have these values now it is time for you to compare and make a conclusion right so let me show you the answers now so these are the answers we already got so we can compare these values chi square was 22.5455 and p value is 1.5584 times 10 power negative 4 which is equals to 0015 and if you compare the p value with significance level given in the question it is less than that I hope you remember from the table here if you see that if the values of p less than significance you have to reject the null hypothesis and the other way was if your chi squared value is greater than critical value now let's see what are critical value and chi squared value so if i show you the chi squared value is 22.548 something and when you compare with 9.49 you'll find out this is bigger than 9.49 so technically you can reject your null hypothesis which means you have to say that color and size are dependent they are not independent right so repeat this process I hope this video will help you to solve other questions which are similar to this. Thank you.